Hello and welcome back to a tutorial. All right, so now that we have notifications, we still have a bit of cleanup to do because first of all, they now you can follow a post by simply commenting on it. Then it becomes one of the things that you receive notifications on. So we should be able to put something to disable that if we want to. Uh, maybe you don't want to follow a post anymore. But first, let's look at our list of things that we were supposed to actually do here. So we have done notifications. Uh, we've done liking a comment without uh, refreshing. And we've done pagination, of course. Allowing the user profile to be view viewed publicly. I will add the share uh, Facebook buttons. Those are easy. It's just a copy and paste. So I'll add, the, I'll add those last. And then we still have forgotten password and tagging in posts. So let's get, get rid of the small stuff first so that we remain with the big stuff like messages and clean URLs because these are definitely going to have large impacts on the website as a whole. So we'll do these uh, last. So let's deal with tagging in posts for now. So let's imagine you want people to be able to tag you. Now, the first thing that's required for a tag to actually work is to have a name that can be tagged. Because at this point, it would be cumbersome to have to type all this just to tag someone. Oh, we could do it that way. But what we could do instead to make things a little bit easier is to go to our database inside users in the users table. And let's add one more column here. So I'm going to go to the structure. At the very end here, we are going to add one. Now this column will be the tag name. That's what we will call it. We'll call tag underscore name. And then we'll put a variable character. So the tag name could be as long as 20 characters long. That's entirely up to you. And let's uh, hit save. Then we have ourselves a new column. So because we're going to be using this name to sometimes to find users, we are going to have to index it. So I'm just going to say index. There we go. Okay, so that's a tag, tag name right there. So now the thing is we already have records in here. So let me go to browse at this point and let's look at the records that are here. So we have to create tag names here, which is empty over there. So what I will do is simply edit these guys. So I'm just going to click edit, select all these and click edit here. I want to manually give them a tag name. Then we'll see how to generate a tag name during sign up. So this is the username for this one. So I'm just going to use the first name for the tag name. In fact, the shorter the tag name, the better. So in here, tag name should be small letters. So let me just remove the first part. It will just be thorn like this. Just a nickname of some some sort then mary here i think mary is easy enough we're just going to say mary that will be the tag name and what's the tag name for this one john and let's hit save goody 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 so let's see here we have thorn mary and john so now the thing is, we need people need to know how they can actually tag you. So we need to display that over here. So let's go to our folder in the profile.php. Yeah, so where are you profile.php? There we go. So I'm looking for where we are echoing out the first name. So let's go to first name, first name. Let's search for all these instances here. So this is the part right here. First name and last name. Great. So right about here, I will add a break tag like so. And let's put this inside a span so we can 
we can give it some styles and then I'm simply just going to get that and paste it here so instead of these of course I will put tag underscore name like so but of course we need our PHP tags so let's use the shorthand like this so you say PHP equal sign and then we close the tag there okay so there we go bam we have that looking great but this is not how a tag name should look like so let's put our at symbol there and then let's put some styles in here so we're going to say style uh, at this point what i want to do is reduce the font size font size uh, let's try something like 12 pixels let's see where that gets us okay so I, I think that's good enough so you see the name there and then you see the at symbol of the user so if we go to Mary we're going to see Mary over there and that's uh, looking great who else do we have here how many people are following me here who is following Mary Ah, there's John right there. So that's that's our John right there. So by using this, what I want to do is to be able to post on my uh, timeline here and say add John. Or oh, this is what I was saying or what I was talking about or whatever the post is so that now John will be notified that he was tagged here and then can come and see the actual post okay so great so far so good now the next thing we have to do is create a function that will determine whether there is a tag before we post so we have to know before we post the um, the item that there is actually a tag in there so because we're going to be using this several times let's create it using a function so let's go to our classes here and let's go to functions.php and our functions are getting more and more. So this is good. Now the advantage of uh, these functions is you can use them, you can re reuse them in your projects. Uh, just include this functions file, then you have access to all these uh, great functions. So let's go to the very bottom here and let's create function. What we can name this is something like, uh, this is up to you what you want to name it. So maybe we can say check tags, that, that sounds more reasonable. Okay, something like this, check tags. Okay, so how do we go about checking for tags? So what I want to be able to do with this is to give this function an entire post, right? So like uh, text, so I give it the text of the post and then it automatically pulls out the parts that are actually tag names. And then it's supposed to check if those are real tags or not, and then determine what to do with them. So at this point, we have this text over here. So what we want to do with the text in a post, for example, imagine this is a sentence. We say this is a sentence like so. So there are individual words here. If I were to add a tag name, I would add it like John is a something like this. So you see that the tag has a name here, uh, some text here and some spaces there. So I think what would be a good idea is to separate each word by itself, separate it from sentence and then check if that name has an at at the beginning or that word has an at at the beginning and then some text over here. So this is a very good candidate for regular expressions. So let's do that, why not?